Hey, hi there. So this time I'm going to explain about creation of clothes and accessories for Yuma avatars. So first of all, we need to download the content creation pack on Yuma Beta Test website. It's here. This one. So uh, basically it contains all necessary meshes and textures and base content to create your all stuff. So I just opened the, the pack and this is the content we have both for female and male avatar and also some extra files. So the FBX files are um, the mesh for the, ba the base mesh for female and male avatars. It's already uh, skinned and rigged so you can use those for creating your own content on uh, 3D Max, uh, Maya, this kind of software. I also provide the open project, uh, the Blender uh, open project file. Uh, we have an OBJ uh, file for uh, ZBrush guys or uh, Mudbots. And especially for ZBrush, I also provide the Z2. Uh, it already has uh, polygroups for the, each uh, part of the, the base mesh uh, element. So it, it already has this difference from the OBJ file, if you're working with ZBrush. And also the GFuse texture uh, for, for the female and male after. And also the UV layout for both male and female. As you can notice, uh, the both male and female share the same UV for the entire body, uh, but the head is uh, a bit different. Uh, so, also I have this uh, script here, a Python script for the Blender uh, users. Uh, I'm going to explain how this can be used to. Uh, skin and rig uh, automatically your own contents. I will start uh, with Blender with some basic uh, creation. First of all we are going to need to download Blender here. Uh, again this can also be done in 3D Max, Maya, XSI. I'm just going to explain in Blender because it's open source and available for everyone. So I'm going to download the latest version and uh, this brings some uh, great news. In fact, uh, those latest versions already uh, provide uh, um, included uh, copy uh, bone weights. Uh, so we actually don't need the Python uh, script for the latest versions. So we have for Windows, uh, Linux and uh, Mac OS. So I'm going to open the Blender here. Uh, as you can see it's already the latest version and I'm going to open the, the file. The blend file on the content pack. <laughs> oh, you can use your own interface. You don't need to load this one. Uh, so if you're a Blender user uh, it, it will be easier. Um, as I explained, you can do this in your own software, if you do prefer. So we have here the, the female and the male. And some, some of the clothes and hair. <clears throat> so uh, also the, the, bone, the bones for the female and for the male avatar. This uh, rig structure will uh, change because uh, after uh, Johan included the, the script for um, combining uh, skinhead meshes considering extra bones, I'm probably not going to include those, uh, those bones for the hair because they can be included in real time for a specific uh, hair content, so those are not uh, necessary anymore. 
uh, so this rig is probably still going to change. Uh, you might notice this uh, male mesh is visible in both uh, both layers here. So I'm going to move to only one one layer, just for uh, helping me organize this. So first of all, I'm going to start with something very simple. Uh, we actually won't even need to copy uh, bone weights because we are actually going to use the same uh, mesh for the cloth. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to enter the edit mode and select some of the faces. I'm going basically to select the limit area where I want to have the this cloth. Also, uh, yeah. So I select everything here. I, I'm just hiding. Now I, I will unhide and uh, use Shift D to duplicate the mesh and uh, P to, to separate this one. So now we actually have the this extra mesh here. It's an uh, exact copy of the base, base one. Uh, I'm going to enter edit mode here. And uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, expand a little bit of this mesh using shift to have a, a, this a very very small change as you can see here so uh, now I'm just going to remove this because I don't want this kind of volume here and also, uh, for in this case, I'm going to uh, simply define this this junction here, uh, and this one. I'm using J for this, and I will delete those those vertices here. So uh, the interesting. Uh, thing we have here is that this uh, mesh as I, I, I'm copying the, the 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 body itself it's already been uh, rigged and skinned so the, the volume already follows not only the movement but also the shape variation So this is the, the most simple way to create uh, cloth and content. It's basically to uh, copy uh, um, copy from the base mesh some extra mesh. Uh, so just to be sure this is possible uh, and integrate this this one with the final. The, the unity itself, I'm going to uh, name this one as mail uh, t shirts shirt. um, and export to unity. Uh, it's, it's really important to keep the rotation as zero and the scale. Uh, normalize it so we, you don't have any problem when exporting. Um, and I, I'm also going to create some texture for this one. So I'm going to expand here. You notice that the UV is following the body uh, UV layout. I will keep this uh, this way for now, but uh, I will change this later, so you can see how the I can include 
uh, other texture. The way it is right now, uh, I would benefit from uh, using an overlay that uh, shares the same uh, texture space of the body. Uh, so I, I could save uh, texture space on the atlas this, this way. Uh, so I'm going to export this FPX file. And this is a uh, do, do settings here. It's really important to follow the right ones. So uh, what we need to change here is that forward is in fact Z instead of uh, this this one. It's Z actually. And uh, as those base meshes won't include any animation, I will remove all of those here. And that's it. Uh, I'm going to call this one the um, t-shirt, male t-shirt. Um, uh, also important, I, I'm only going to export the selected objects. I'm quite sure I didn't select the skeleton. So I'm going to uh, export this one, but I'm going, yeah, yeah. I need to uh, be sure to also have the, the, the rig, the male rig selected. So I, I export uh, the t-shirt the also with the male rig. It's, this is really important. And uh, here we go. So the rest is already uh, set correctly and uh, I'm going to export again. So it's really important to export with the male rig also. I will need to take a break because of the time limit. The rest will be recorded in the next video. So uh, that's it for now. Goodbye guys. See you.